Shalakaya Chaksurun Militanyena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Vanchakalpa Terubyascha Kripa Sindhu Bhayevacha Patitanam Pavanebhyo Vaishnavibhyo Namo Namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasade Gaur Bhaktavinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare so we're just coming to the end of the first part of the Brihad Bhagavat Amrita. And we we heard about Narada Muni how he searched out the devotees who had received the greatest mercy from Lord Krishna. And actually found out that all the devotees had received great mercy from Lord Krishna. But they all thought that they had not received any mercy from Krishna. They all, they all considered other devotees to be much greater than they are. Alright, so we're, uh, we're just hearing the end of the, this first half. Uddhava suggested to Narada Muni what was best to eat. And Satyabhama, Krishna's wife, she was fanning Narada Muni. And all the other different queens of Krishna, they were all trying to please Narada Muni with different kinds of service. Uddhava mm. went around commenting, he was saying to people, you haven't tried this. This other preparation is your favorite. And take some of this and take some of that. And this way he was encouraging Narada Muni to take more, eat more prasada. And because it was quite a hot day, so Krishna's beloved wife Satyabhama, she was personally fanning the the two friends, the, the two lords and the exalted sage. The two lords meaning Krishna and Balaram and the great sage Narada Muni. <laughs> So the other queens and the head of the the leader of the other queens was Jambavati. They were busy doing everything they could to make the meal to make it more pleasurable. And 
They poured cool water from from big pictures of what they had big uh, big uh, big containers of water and they poured nice cool refreshing water for the for them to drink. And they, they talked, they were praising the food which had been prepared to offer to the lords. They were saying how it was very special, all delicacies. And they were fanning the bodies of Krishna and Balaram and Narada Muni, all are all different sides. And they made the room very nice, fragrant, because they were burning incense and a guru. So after Narada Muni finished eating and washed his hands and mouth, Lord Krishna worshipped him. And Krishna uh, put this fragrant oil on him. And gave him a very fragrant flower garland. And gave him different ornaments also to wear. So Narada then had to, he left Lord Krishna, and he went to he went back to Prayag where he had begun his search. Yeah, Prayag is where the Ganga and the Yamuna meet. So Narada Muni began his search when he was first there in Prayag. He met the head of the, all the Brahmanas. So Narada Muni thought, I want to give some perfection. I should give some perfection for those sages who have been waiting for Narada Muni to come back for a long time. So Lord Krishna has another name. His another name of Lord Krishna is Madhava, because Madhava means he is the moon. On he's the moon that that arose from the ocean of the the dynasty of King Madhu. Yeah. And Udava, oh Madhava, Madhava is also the name of the deity of Krishna, which is there at Dash Ashwa made a ghat, which is there at Prayag. Madhava 
呃 ，Krishna 就在八十二十万米的 Ghat 这个地方以 Madhava 而闻名，他的这个神像。And Narada Muni had had he had seen he had, he had seen, seen the sages worshiping Lord Madhava and bathe how they bathed him every day. Narada Muni 每天都亲眼。And they themselves also would take bath every day at the place where the Ganga meets the Yamuna. 圣人们，圣者们每天自己也在恒河与雅木纳河的交汇处沐浴。And they would bathe even in the month of Mag, which is the coldest time of the year, the winter time there. But they wouldn't hesitate to go and take their bath there in the holy rivers. So Narada Muni wanted to go back to Prayag. To to share his realizations with all these great devotees there. Narada Muni 就希望返回 Prayag 和这些奉献者们分享自己的觉悟 And by taking shelter of that place, that at the Dashashwamedha, you get the shelter of Lord Krishna. 通过就在那个地方，达什阿什阿弥的这个地方，嗯，脱，在那个地方便脱离了主 Krishna。So Narada Muni began his journey to go to Prayag. He was, he was intoxicated with eagerness for pure devotion. Narada. 穆尼，嗯，开始踏上了回到普拉亚格的旅程。他一路上陶醉在，嗯，渴望奉爱之情的，嗯，情怀当中。And wherever he went on the journey, he was vibrating his vina. He was playing his musical instrument called the vina. 他一路弹奏着自己的乐器 vina 琴。And he was singing also about the glories of Krish, devotion to Krishna. He had seen he had seen the glories. He had seen the power of devotion to Krishna with his own eyes. He had seen the glories. He had seen the power of devotion to Krishna with his own eyes. So when the sages, this when all these devotees at Prayag, when they heard Narada, what hap, what had happened to Narada Muni, when they heard everything from Narada Muni about all of his experiences, oh, they they were so impressed. When Prayag's devotees heard all of this. 拿着穆尼的亲身的体验的时候，都给他们留下深刻的印象。And they all vowed to give up all in any interest in anything except Krishna's service. 他们全部发誓，呃，要放弃，嗯，除了对主 Krishna 的服务之外，之外任何其他的兴趣。They could understand that Krishna's service was the only thing of value in this world. So, whatever, whatever little traces of attachment to the material world and to material knowledge was still in their hearts, it was taken away. By hearing from Narada Muni. Through, uh, from Narada Muni, that, hearing, these sages' heart, 
一一丝一毫的对物质世界的知识，以及对物质世界的一点点品味，都被拿走了。Uh, they were they were nice devotees. They were intelligent devotees. And when they heard from Narad, Rad, Narada Muni about what had happened to him, they were able to recognize the real truth of life. So, they they hearing the words from Narada Muni, it took away any little bit of attachment or contamination to the material world. 聆听拿尔的牧女的话语，拿走了他们对物质世界的依附，以及在物质世界的污染。And they became very humble, and they began to worship the lotus feet of Madan Gopal, just according to Narada Muni's instructions. They became very humble. They began to worship the lotus feet of Madan Gopal, just according to Narada Muni's instructions. It's a principle of devotional service that we have to give up everything which has no value in relation to Krishna. We must understand the principle of devotional service that we have to give up everything. So these Brahmana devotees at Prayag, they got the blessings of Narada Muni. So they were given. The the greatest and they were fully enlightened. And they obtained. The, they became very humble, which is required before you can enter into pure devotional service. If we want to experience pure love for Krishna, we have to become very humble. So these devotees, the Brahmana devotees at Prayag. They thought themselves to be unworthy to 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 worship Krishna. And because of that humility, so they got the the treasure of Krishna's mercy. So, this whole story was told by Maharaj Parikshit to his mother Uttara. Uttara had inquired from her son Maharaj Parikshit what was the essence of what he had heard from Shukadeva Goswami. Uttara, 问询问自己的儿子 Maharaj Parikshit 
他从他的古鲁舒克德维勾苏阿那勾苏阿米所听听听听到的精髓是什么 ？So Maharaj Parikshit says to his mother. He tells his mother that、uh, you you should always worship the, the this young cowherd boy, meaning, of course, Lord Krishna. Um, Parikshit, uh, Maharaj, 告诉自己的妈妈说，您应当总是崇拜。Yeah, just like we heard the Brahmanas at Prayag, that they also they gave up everything and took shelter of Krishna and fully engaged in the worship of Krishna. So Maharaj Parikshit tells his mother she should do the same. Um, like, uh, And he tells his mother, Lord Krishna is the ocean that yields the nectar of the rasa dance. 嗯，他说。And it's that rasa dance where the 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 divine gopis fully surround Krishna. Now those gopis all have pure love for Krishna. These gopis, mud girls, all have pure love for Krishna. And then Maharaj Parikshit tells his mother, "You should also have the desire. You should take the desire to be a servant of those gopis." Maharaj Parikshit tells his mother, And you should worship them with pure love. Just like they worship Lord Krishna with pure love, you should dedicate yourself to the sankirtan of the names of Lord Krishna. 正像这些牧牛姑娘们对 Krishna 怀着纯粹的爱，同样，你也应当将自己全心全意的奉献给对主圣 Krishna 的圣名的桑桑提尔坦。So Maharaj Parikshit had been telling all this story about Narada Muni to his mother. So now he's just coming to the conclusion. He's just giving the conclusion. He wants to. His mother should understand what lesson she should learn from this. 他希望自己的母亲从从这个故事当中学到一个教训。So Maharaj Parikshit tells his mother she should become a fully absorbed in Krishna consciousness. Parikshit Maharaj 告诉自己的妈妈，她应当嗯全神贯注的专注于 Krishna 知觉中。So in all of its Different varieties,、uh, which we get, which we we which we get, and which we think about, all the different varieties of devotees. The most perfect love is there in the gopis. In our 
们能想，人们能想到的，嗯，接触到的所有各种各类的奉献者们当中，最完美的爱存在于这些木牛姑娘身上。And those uh, those gopis they join Lord Krishna in dancing the rasa lila. These mudra girls join Lord Krishna in dancing rasa, uh, participating in rasa celebration. So the Supreme Lord, in his original form, is a young, playful cowherd boy. 至尊主最原始的形象，嗯，是一位年轻的，呃，年轻的喜欢玩耍的木牛木牛童。And it's in this form that he enjoys his original pleasure. 他以这个形象享受最原始的快乐。And when the Lord, when Lord Krishna appears in any other form, that appearance is secondary. When Lord Krishna appears in any other form, that appearance is secondary. And that other form, that's just for the sake of satisfying some particular devotees. Just for the sake of satisfying some particular devotees. 这些次要的形象，全部是为了满足呃特定的奉献者的愿望。After he heard the Srimad Bhagavatam from Sukadeva Goswami, Maharaj Parikshit understood all of this transcendental knowledge. 帕里克什·马拉吉。从苏格德勾斯阿米那里聆听了圣典博加瓦谈之后，他明白了这些超然的知识。So to make his mother also understand all of it, he has he has renamed the first part of the the Brihad Bhagavatam Rita. Uh, he's, re, he's, he's told, not renamed, but he's told, he's told it again in the form of the Brihad Bhagavatam Rita. So, Mother Uttara, she, she was, her husband was Abhimanu. She had been married to Abhimanu, and Abhimanu was Krishna's nephew. So Mother Uttam, Uttara might be feeling uh, uncomfortable about how she could ever take the mood of the gopis. Especially, you know, in public, in front of other people, it would be difficult for Uttara to try to take the mood of the gopis. So Maharaj Parikshit, he encourages her. Just try to become a servant of the gopis. So Maharaj Parikshit encourages his mother, "You only try to become a servant of the gopis." And the print, the 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 best way to become a servant of the gopis of Vrindavan is to do Krishna Sankirtan, the chanting of the holy names of Krishna. 
而成为温达文的勾皮的仆人的最好的方法，就是 Krishna Sankirtan 唱诵 Krishna 的圣名。You want we want to hear and chant the names of the 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 Supreme Lord who is a divine cowherd boy. 应当渴望聆听唱诵至尊主的圣名，他是一位神圣的牧牛童。主最好的一个名字是 Krishna。So the best way to practice worshiping Krishna is in the in the Is is in is the symptom of one who has achieved. The best means to to develop love for Krishna is to chant his holy name. And one who is chanting the holy name with pure love. Then it's understood that that person has got that that treasure of love for Krishna. 一个一位怀着爱唱诵主 Krishna 圣名的人，可以明白他已经得到了呃 Krishna 的爱这座宝藏。So Maharaj Parikshit says to his mother, he said. I cannot even describe with my own words about the greatness of these gopis of Vrindavan. Hari Bo. Hari Bo. Guru Mani. Hari Bo, Guru Mani. You 那边没声音了，要不你重新进一下吧。Hari Bo. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna Krishna Hari Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 
हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 राम Yes. Good good money with Laila Ma. Okay. I'll have a magician. So Maharaj Parikshit says to his mother, he said, I'm not able to describe with my own words the the glories of the gopis. He said, and he gives an example. He said, just like a mosquito cannot swallow Mount Meru. So Maharaj Pariksha says, uh, he said, my spiritual master is fully absorbed in that mood of serving Krishna. And he can constantly glorify Krishna's name. And he can also glorify the names of Krishna's most beloved devotees, people like Rukmini. The gopis, <coughs> the gopis were, they were full of, they were consumed, they were burned up by the, the flames of the wonderful blazing fire of love of Krishna. And Maharaj Pariksha said, if my guru chants the names of these gopis and recalls a gopi's wonderful qualities, he too is touched by the, that spark of love of Krishna. Yeah, the, because that, that intense love of Krishna is like a burning fire. So Maharaj Pariksha said, my guru, he, when he chants, he at once becomes so agitated, he becomes full of love of Krishna. So he has to be very careful. He has to avoid even saying the names of the gopis. Because if he utters the names, it awakens his love for Krishna. Because if he utters the names, it awakens his love for Krishna. 
The gopis' love for Krishna is very special. And the, it, it, the ultimate extreme of this love, it can only be compared to a blazing fire. Everything the gopis experience in their life has has is it has some connection with love for Krishna. And that love is like a fire and it burns their hearts. Just like if you get too near to fire, it will burn you. So Sukadeva Goswami, he is very, in, the Sukadeva Goswami means the guru of Maharaj Pariksit. He's very intimately, he's very intimately connected to the mood of the gopis. But because of that, he is very, it's very easy for him to become too much, he will become so much ecstatic, his love for Krishna will be awakened, he will become like a mad person. So he will, when he feels the separation from Krishna and he feels the mood of the gopis, then he's an, he, he becomes help, it, it's, it's impossible to, to help him, to do anything for him. And when sometimes you'll be chanting the glories of Krishna, we cannot understand what's happening, what's, what's he doing. The, his devotional service is his own special nature. And it's the only thing which maintains his life. If Sukadeva Goswami even utters any of the names of the gopis, his heart at once becomes full with remembering the, all about the gopis. Yeah, he, he remembers about the gopis and it awakens that feeling of separation from Krishna. And he's unable to concentrate on his own service.
So that was why when he was speaking Srimad Bhagavatam to Maharaj Pariksit, Sukadeva Goswami would be very careful to avoid mentioning the gopis by name. So there were many times, many places in the in the tenth canto of the Bhagavatam where Sukadeva Goswami would speak about the activities, but he would be very careful not to mention the names of any of the gopis. So some of the gopis were milking cows when they heard Krishna's flute. So when they heard the sound of Krishna's flute, they stopped the milking of the cows and they went off to meet Krishna. And some of the gopis, they were curdling the milk. They have cooking and the milk was on the stove and they were curdling it. And they just left it to go to see Krishna. And other gopis, they were cooking cakes and they had cakes in the oven. But when they heard the sound of Krishna's flute, they just left everything and went to see Krishna. So like this Sukadeva Goswami just says one gopi, he doesn't mention any names. And in another place he talks about, he said one gopi was imitating Putana. Well, well another gopi acted like baby Krishna and pretended to suck her breast. And another gopi was crying in imitation of baby Krishna. And that gopi was crying, she kicked the gopi who was taking the, the gopi was playing he was the gopi was taking the part of the the cart demon shakatasura and in an, another place, it, it, Sukadeva Goswami talks about the gopis following Krishna's path shown by his footprints in the forest of Vrindavan. So when the gopis saw that Krishna's footprints were mixed with the footprints of another gopi, then they became, they became disturbed, they became perturbed, and they spoke. Uh, 
姑娘们看见 Krishna 的足印呢，和另外一位 Gopi 姑娘姑娘的足印呢，嗯，交织在一起的时候，他们内心就感到不安起来。So another place it says the gopis wandered about, in, in the forest of Vrindavan, their minds were completely bewildered. 还有一位 gopi 说，当他们在森林当中和 Krishna 一起在夜间漫游的时候，他们的心已变得彻底的困惑了。And they wandered around. They pointed out different signs of Krishna's pastimes. And one gopi, whom Krishna had taken her to a secluded forest, where he gave up all the other gopis just to be with this one gopi. But then that gopi began to think that she was the best of all the women. Krishna had taken the gopi into the forest on her own, and so she was thinking she's special, better than the other gopis. She thought. Krishna has given up all the other gopis just to be with me. And she thought that they're all driven. Everybody's under the control of Cupid, and Krishna has chosen to reciprocate with this one gopi alone. 每个人都被爱神丘比特而而变得发狂，而 Krishna 呢，他只选择了和这位母牛姑娘单独在一起。So the two the two the two lovers, another place in the Bhagavatam talks about two lovers、uh, through one part of the forest. The special gopi began feeling proud of herself, being with Krishna. And she told Krishna, "Oh, I cannot walk anymore." He 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 told Krishna, "Oh, I cannot walk anymore." So Lord Krishna then said to her, "Well, just climb on my shoulder." Krishna 便对这位母牛姑娘说，那就请你爬爬，呃，爬，请你爬到我的背上好了。But as soon as Krishna said this, he disappeared. 可是话音刚落 ，Krishna 便消失了。So that one gopi then she felt very sorry that she'd spoken like that. 这位母牛姑娘便为自己说出了这这番话而感到非常懊悔。And in another place in the Bhagavatam, it tells about how one gopi joyfully took Krishna's hand 
between her folded palms. And then another gopi placed her arms, which were covered with sandalwood paste, on the shoulders of Krishna. Oh, no, on, the, on her shoulder. And so she placed her, oh, she placed his arms, his arm, Krishna's arms, which are covered with sandalwood paste, and she placed his arms on her shoulder. And then one gopi joined Krishna or Makunda in his singing. And the singing, of course, was very melodious. And the, the go, sound of the gopis, it rose above the sound of Lord Krishna. And when, when Krishna heard the gopi singing, Krishna showed appreciation and he appreciated the performance. He said, very good, excellent, excellent. And then another gopi repeated the same melody, but in a special meter. And when Krishna heard, Krishna said, Oh, yes, very nice. When Krishna heard, he said, Oh, very nice, very well done. Guru Mani? Yes, I'm here. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah? Yeah, 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 I'm here, I'm here. Yeah. Uh, you, you said that. Uh, the, the gopi. Uh, yeah, the gopi. Yeah. The gopi was imitate, was singing like Krishna, but in a different melody, and Krishna liked it very much. Yeah, so some gopis, they felt so much pain in their heart that their faces turned pale due to, and, and they began to breathe very heavily. This was when Krishna was separate from them. And there were other gopis, they were so, they were in so much pain and so much distress that their dresses, and their bracelets and their hair the braid of their hair all became loose. And then one of the gopis, 
was meditating on her previous association with Krishna. And at that time she saw a honey bee come before her. So when she saw the bee, she imagined that the bee was a messenger sent by her beloved Krishna. At that time she began to speak to the bee. So someone might think that all this respect for the gopis, which Sukad, that this was Sukadev Goswami's reason for his not speaking their names. But Maharaj Pariksit, he says, no, he said, it wasn't just like that. He said, actually, Sukadeva Goswami was always intoxicated by the loving bliss of Krishna consciousness. So it, when he didn't speak the names of the gopis, it wasn't because of shyness. But he didn't mention the names of the gopis. It was out of fear of losing control of his own self. All right, so we will stop here today. We will ask some questions. Yes, so this devotee paid obeisance to you and she said the she come, came in touch with Krishna consciousness last October. Uh, on the weekend, she would uh, associate with the other devotee. But on your Yasa Puja day, when she saw your picture, um, she, she cried. Uh, she cried uncontrollable when paying obeisance to you, and she's asking why. The second question is that um, she's asking, uh, how can uh, what what is the, the love for Krishna in our daily life, in our daily work? So how to accept? Uh, uh, so what what is our love for Krishna exhibit in our daily life? All right. So second question: love for Krishna in our daily life. Love means service. 
So if you love Krishna, you will serve Krishna. And the service you should do for Krishna is to chant his holy name. Mm. The first question about crying, I, I cannot tell you why you cried. I don't understand the mind of you women. Gurumani, I just realized there's only one verse remaining here in this Brihad Bhagavatamrita. I think we should just finish it. Okay, Maharaj. Yes. Go we'll just read the last verse. So Sukadev Amaraj Parikshit was speaking to his mother and he's explaining to her with the help of the most excellent story narration about the Supreme Lord it which shows who has received the the Lord's mercy, the greatest mercy, one can understand Krishna. One we can it will help us to understand Krishna. Yes, right. And anyone, for any reason, who takes shelter of this story will be able to uh, quickly get love for Krishna. Right, and then uh, just a little more. So Parikshit points Sukadeva Goswami to, according to Maharaj Parikshit's promise, Sukadeva Goswami now adds his own. Oh, so Maharaj Parikshit gave a promise. This is Sukadeva Goswami's own promise. Yeah, and he promises that by taking shelter of the Supreme Lord's devotees, one can understand their special glories. And it allows that will uh, I'll qualify us to different methods of devotional service. Yeah. 
and finally we'll get pure love for Krishna. Uh, even more wonderful is that one can achieve the same perfection simply by hearing this story of Brihad Bhagavatam Rita. So the purpose of this book is to help us to make known how Lord Krishna acts as the unlimited source of compassion. And sincere and if we are sincere, then we can quickly get love for Krishna. Especially when we consciously follow the authorized principles of sadhana bhakti. All right, so that's the end of this first part of the Brihad Bhagavatam Rita. So, next class we will go on to read again the second part of the Brihad Bhagavatam Rita. All right. Okay, so go to questions. Surveys continue to ask the third question, third part of question. My, my lover, for my spouse, for lover, for the as far as all the hurts and sadness that what? caused by my what uh, because my, my beloved person hurt me previously how can i um, become pacified by bhakti yoga become what happened um, she maybe there's some uh, uh, in the in the relationship between husband or wife or lover sh there are some uh, unpleasant experience so she's uh, asking um now she has come in contact with bhakti yoga okay okay uh, how can I use bhakti yoga to help my help, help me to come well, out of you have to she has to understand that she's not the body that she's a spirit soul so your attachment is based on the body. So you want to come out of that bodily consciousness of life. 
，所以您要希望能够走出这躯体化的生生活概念当中。So that's the most important thing. 这是要点，首要的要点。So to come out of the bodily consciousness of life, you have to chant the Maha Mantra more. Do regular chanting of the Maha Mantra, and will help you to get out of bodily consciousness. Okay. Yeah. 下一个问，潘木说，拉拉德像，在庙里服务神像，是不是比在外做其他的服务更容易培养你对 Krishna 的爱呢？嗯 ，Whether or not we can easily cultivate Krishna prema by serving deities in the temple, then go out to do other service. <笑> Yes, you can cultivate Krishna prema by serving the deities, but you can also cultivate Krishna consciousness by going out to provinces. Also, it's up to you how you want to serve Krishna. How are you attracted? Yes, the temple service in the temple service can develop 通过卖出、做其他服务，也可以培养 Krishna 之觉。这是取决于您自己。您希望如何去服务 Krishna？ So different devotees are attracted to different methods of devotional service. 不同的奉献者，嗯，受到嗯 Krishna 之觉的不同的方式方式程序所吸引。But you have to develop love for Krishna, and that comes by chanting the holy name. So you have to chant the holy name with pure love. 嗯，但是，嗯，您需要，您要想发展出对 Krishna 的爱，必须要怀着爱，纯粹的爱去唱诵圣名。It's not just worship the deities and you'll get love. You have to chant the name without offense. 并不是单纯的崇拜神像就能发展出对 Krishna 的爱，必须要没有不带冒犯的去唱诵圣名。OK， 下一个问题。下一个 ，Raja Priya， 你白姑的翻译的慢点，如何可以让自己存在于物质世界，但不被束缚，但是往往因为物质之责，力不从心，以至于无法平静，心意比较乱，无法控制。Obeisance to Guru Gurude. Um, how can I? Uh, uh, although I'm living in the material world, how can I? Uh, not be bound by the material world, because I have material duty. Oh, um, I felt helpless. Uh, so sometimes I can. I'm not peaceful in the mind. My mind. Sometimes, oh, only sometimes. Uh. <laughs> uh, not not sometimes, but always, often, often because of that. Well, you have to cultivate the Krishna consciousness. You have to follow the process of Krishna consciousness. It's going to take some time. You need to develop Krishna consciousness. 呃，您需要遵守 Krishna 之觉的方法，这需要时间。You have to chant the holy name, the Maha Mantra. You have to chant regularly. 您需要唱诵圣名 Maha Mantra， 有规律的唱诵。Oh, so you have to hear carefully. You have to hear carefully about the process of devotional service. 您需要嗯仔细的去聆听有关于奉献奉爱服务的方方面面。嗯、mm. ，Go ahead。OK
I mean, the mind, as far as her mind, her restless mind, yeah, everyone has that's the problem. But you have to conquer over the mind. So Lord Krishna describes how to conquer the mind. Krishna在《Buddha Fang》歌中讲述了如何控制心意。